This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! I'm gay. <laughs> You're sending the biggest chill down my spine, Edgeworth. Her jazzy femur returns. Callisto, you. So you've shown your true face at last. This feeling of thrill is even greater than that time seven years ago. Sheena, you're... Lang, I really enjoyed our days together. You're an insanely strong, nice, kind-hearted idiot of a man. So you were a spy all along? A mole sent by the smuggling ring I've been chasing after? Someone who's been feeding them intel on Interpol all this time? Ah, very good. Maybe you're not as big of an idiot as I thought. Callisto, you! The woman who killed my father seven years ago! You're her, aren't you? The fake Yadagarasu! That's right. Callisto, you. That's just one of my many names. But even that is just a facade. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Great Thief Yadagarasu. Callisto, oh, you- I thought she was gonna oh. fly away. <laughs> fly? You can't fly. Can, yes, can, you can, can. can. <laughs> Callisto, you, this time you won't escape, for this is the end of the road for you. Now come along quietly. You know, you are the one who's left the strongest impression on me. Kay Faraday. And had you not used the Yadagarasu's gadgets, I might have never known where who you were. But here you are, being a thorn in my side. Just like your father always was. Kay, don't! You! I'll never forgive you for what you did to my father! You really are just like him. Mr. Faraday, too, possessed such laughable honesty. Whoa, Nelly! Kay! Ah! You let Kay go right now, pal! You despicable! Let go of me, you filthy- ah! think I'm a fake, don't you? Well, unfortunately for you, I'm the real Legata Garasu. But that's impossible! My father was the one who created Little Thief! <laughs> hey, Edgeworth! The Yadagarasu has three legs, do you know why that is? Why it has three legs? There are three main reasons why the Yadagarasu will always be one step ahead. First, the Yadagarasu always knows the exact location of the target object. Second, the Yadagrasu always knows exactly how to disarm the security system. No! It can't be! Did you finally figure it out? Do you know the real identity of the Yadagarasu? The real identity of the Yadagarasu is... Burn Faraday, Callisto, you neither person. It'd be weird if it was neither person, which I think it would be a better story. But if it was the real identity of the Yadagarasu, they're probably like, It's Callisto you, because she thinks... Kay thinks she's the Yadagarasu the whole time! Right? I've actually never tried all of these. Burn Farday, he was the real Yadagarasu. If you're naming Mr. Farday as the Yadagarasu, you're basically wiping out every single argument you've made tonight. Ah, th that wasn't my intention. Ha, if everything we've talked about tonight is nothing more than filler, then go home, pretty boy. You're not needed here. Major Lane's correct. Mr. Farday really was the Yadagarasu. He's, pre he's pretty calm, considering Kay's at, like, gunpoint. Gunpoint, yeah. Callisto Yu is the real Yadagarasu. Mr. Edgeworth, didn't we just talk about this? Ms. Yu said it herself that she's the real one, so you don't need to say it again. I suppose not. Why in the world am I doing this? Neither person. The real identity of the Yadagarasu is neither Burn Faraday nor Callisto Yu. But by the same token, they are also both the real Yadagarasu. <laughs> How very perceptive of you. No way! The single person known as the Great Thief Yadagarasu never existed. Mr. Edgeworth, I... No! I refuse to believe this! The Yadagarasu is known to have three special skills. Skill number one, the Yadagarasu always knows the exact location of the target object. And a lawyer would have the opportunity to learn the layout of client corporations. Skill number two, the Yadagarasu always knows exactly how to disarm the security system. And a good prosecutor would be well-versed in the ways of a criminal. So they work together? 
And is that like he's? We never met Kay's mom. Come to think no, of it, no, we didn't. How old is Callisto? You though, she's like twenty. She was twenty-two yeah, seven years and... ago, so she's she's twenty-nine now. I mean, they could have had the most awkward like sixteen and pregnant situation, but I don't no, think so. No, I don't think so. And skill number three. The Yadagarasu doesn't leave a single shred of evidence behind. Ever. Well, I'm guessing that's Detective Bad hanging out. Sup, homie? D Detective Bad! It was only natural for the Yadagarasu to never leave evidence behind. Because the lead detective on the case hid it all away. Y you're the third member of the Yadagarasu! Wait, what? Now I'm even more confused! I was- I didn't really like this twist, to be honest. The free people as the Yadagarasu. So... wait... I thought he was pointing the gun at her. He's pointing the gun at Sheena. Gu he is! Okay, yeah. I thought he was pointing it also at Kay once they said, You're the third member? Like, were they all working together like High School Musical? Or were they like- It was exactly like High School Musical. <laughs> high School Musical, but every time like- Coaster didn't a... get the lead part, so no, she became evil. No, you, do you- there's like the terrible dance sequence for we're all in this together where they clap their hands, but someone that should was make every it- No, but they should sequence. make it every time they clap their hands, a gunshot goes off. <laughs> we're all the- Phew! <laughs> Phew! <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm making this not really great. I've been looking for you for a long time. Seven long years, but I finally got you. Ah! Why, Mr. Bad? Long time no see. What happened to us? We used to be such a great team. If you were such a great team, then why did you kill This me? is not That's Sheena! That's the wrong person! Crap! <laughs> I just kept looking at the text. If you were such a great team, then why did you kill my father seven years ago? <laughs> Why, indeed. He was nothing personal, really. He was just another person I had to kill. How can you say that? I grow weary of this, and it's about time for everything to come to an end. And this time I won't miss. Stop! You! Kay! It's over, Sheena. Y your leg! Agent Lane! These are some great art <laughs> art pieces for all the fans. <laughs> you idiot. What were you thinking jumping in front of my gun like that? What are you risking your life for? I'm sorry, Detective Bad, but no matter what sort of past she may have had... What?! Or even if she is a spy, it doesn't change the fact that she is my subordinate. Uh... And as long as she is, I can't allow any harm to come to her, not even from you. What?! Come on! So, in case you didn't know, Bad just shot. She, he tried yeah. to shoot at Sheena, but he jumped leg, in front and leg, shot it in, in, in the leg. Shot him in the leg, like. And now he's disarming you. You really are an idiot. You know that? <laughs> That's fine with me. You should know by now that this is just how I am. Hey, sis. Yes. I want you to conduct a full body search. Sheena might have another weapon on her. All right. Detective Gumshoe, your assistance, please. Sir! Well, that was the most intense, like, two minutes. <laughs> hey, I found something! What is this, sir? It looks like the blade of a knife, but it doesn't have a handle. Boom. This is a great find, detective. Huh? It is, sir? Let's try pairing up this blade with this handle. With the handle? <coughs> I believe this blade actually belongs with the handle that was on the murder weapon. Hey! They fit together perfectly! This blade must have been taken from the crime scene when the knife handles were switched. I'm gonna go return this Bobbleby's knife now! Alright, I trust that you'll make sure that it is returned to Ambassador Palena. Bobbleby's knife handle given to Detective Gumshoe. I believe this makes it perfectly clear who did it. Callisto, you? For the only time the handles could have been switched is just after Mr. Cochin's murder. <sighs> Which means that you must be Mr. Cochin's killer. I just want to see the amazing five-minute conversation that Callisto Yu had with Manny Cochin outside of the courthouse. <laughs> because like, they were in cahoots. No, literally, though. Like, was it, like, that's what spurred her to, like, do this? Or was it just like, you know, we have a real good night on the town. I hear they have hot dogs down the street. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most, like, cliche dumb thing where she's like, oh, this idiot. You better treat me like a princess. Oh, I will. Hot dogs at Coney Island. 
<laughs> yeah, Coney dog. I, Coney dogs are gross. I don't like hot dogs anymore. I don't like them anymore either, and I'm sad. You killed Mr. Cochin with the alabastian knife. <laughs> he actually just is like, oh, you're close to you? <laughs> Died of shock. That was the best. Can we... I need a gif of that. <laughs> just him falling over. You switched the handles, then took the original blade of the Bobbly's knife with you. Later, you allowed yourself to be spotted by Kay near the open air stage. You used the fireplace to lose her, and then you went back to accuse her of the murder. Does that about sum it up? Objection. Objection. Ah, uh, you craft an engaging tale, Edgeworth. But there are two problems with it. Problems? In what respect? Why do you think my real reason was in allowing her to chase after me? <laughs> It was also I could capture Kay Faraday. What?! When I saw you using that device at Gate Waterland, I knew right away. That you were Burn Faraday's daughter. Ah! I became curious, so I researched a little into your background. This lasted like 24 hours. That's how I found out that you were on the trail of the Adagarasu. So that's why you tried to pin Mr. Cochin's murder on me. Yes, I knew you would show up at the embassy tonight. So I thought to use you. But pinning the murder on you wasn't my only goal. You had another? <laughs> yes. Once I had you under arrest, I had the plan to search you. And take back the device that rightfully belongs to me, the true Yadagorasu. You were going to take Little Thief away from me! Seven years ago, it was thanks to that device that Mitfarde was able to infiltrate this place. But he stole more than he should have. I had a tough time recovering that precious key. And then you just left it on Kimani Cochin's pocket. Mm -hmm. Then the person who stole the Yadagorasu's key was Mr. Faraday. You, that incident seven years ago, what was the catalyst behind it? I wonder how many times that um, Steel Samurai video has looped in the lobby since we first <laughs> came in. Because I don't think it was a trailer. I think While it's we're like having all this, it's just like the, the same kid episode. It's like, that, that, no, that, that. you know how like on TV there will be like channels where it's just like, um, like paid programming for the next 24 hours or it's like or you entire go to, day marathon of Steel Samurai. I wonder if it's like just on there. Or the, you go to the Orthodontist and there's that one kid who's watching Spot's Magical Christmas on repeat. That's like, me. Over and over That was me. <laughs> In the eyes of the smuggling ring, the Yadagarasu was becoming a bit of a problem. It wasn't an especially pleasant assignment. Then why? Why did you become a member of the Yadagarasu? Why? There's no why. I was destined to betray everyone from the very beginning. From the beginning? What is that supposed to mean? The person I take orders from hasn't changed, even now to this day. Does this mean that the leader of the smuggling ring wasn't Mr. Cochin? Maybe he was just like, the man, like the marketing. That? The marketing, wait, it's the smuggling ring. Come to the smuggling, smuggling ring. ring! We'll get you fake money. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's definitely how it works. No, he probably, like, maybe he manned security, although I don't want that guy manning security for my business. Hey, Who? baby. <laughs> well, no, wait. W wasn't the smuggling ring leader the... No, no, no. No, no, no. He wasn't at all. He wasn't? What he, was he related with? No, then? he was related, apparently, with the smuggling ring, but he, like, basically just concealed ev evidence. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. No, the butt of Is the year was not it, the smuggling was ring Was it asked to be someone that we know? Well, we thought it was Manny Cochin. Maybe that guy who Francisco was going to deliver that evidence to. Mr. Stewart! Mr. Stewart? Maybe, maybe he He was actually, an Interpol agent. Oh, no, wait, he died. He never did mind. die, yeah. He did die, I forgot. I was like, he never showed up to the airport. Because <laughs> he was dead. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Poor Mr. Stewart. <laughs> Poor Mr. Then Stewart. Then the real ring leader is still out there pulling the strings. Are you done asking what you need to know? Because if so, we should probably get going. She needs to be arrested, and I kind of have a bullet in my leg right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to tell me everything you did tonight. Do you understand, Sheena? I guess I should tell you then that I was the one who set the Bobbley's embassy on fire. Not Larry! Dang it! Not no! Larry! <laughs> no! Ruined! <laughs> Sorry, I really like the idea that Larry set it on fire. Larry should have set it on fire! <laughs> and why did you do that? I suppose it was to destroy all the evidence of the counterfeit bills. That was what the smuggling ring was trying to do. But then why start two fires? Sorry, but I can't tell you anything about the ring. It's your job to complete your investigation after all. 
I've had my fun. Now it's your turn to enjoy the ride. Smoke bomb! Wait! You, you, I mean, Machina. Yes. When I fell to the floor earlier, these fell at my feet. What about them? They're such pretty hair sticks that I thought, well, that I should return them to you. <laughs> you can have them. They're of no use to me anymore. Yeah, you're not gonna have a lot of fun with hair sticks in prison. You're not gonna have a lot of fun with hair sticks with your with the noose. On your actually, head. you killed two people. You're getting oh, yeah. the noose, probably. Actually, you killed three people. Manny Coach, yeah. you're getting the noose. You're getting the noose. <laughs> if you don't want them, you can always just throw them away. No, I want to keep them. <laughs> Suit yourself. That's a weird conversation for a woman to have with the woman who killed her father. <laughs> oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Edgeworth. Hmm. About the second problem I had with your story. I didn't kill anyone tonight. What, she hire an assassin? Did she also hire a killer? To come in and be like, oh, yes. It shall be done. I what? Don't... It, it was actually, no, no. He would not no. kill anybody. He's too slow and fat to kill anyone. <laughs> wow. Maybe she hired Damask too. To kill to Manny Cochin and then he could then... se se uh, seppuku. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. But then she was like, crap, I can't have two bodies on each other again. That didn't work last time. Oh, let's, let's, let's throw it in Ukwe's <laughs> office. <laughs> let's move it into the other office. Just dumps it down the chimney. He rolls onto the ground where he's like, oh, that's probably bad. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, we still have three to be continued left, I think. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we're still, like, we're now two thirds of the brain, way. I'm like, well, it's almost done. No. I'm not saying that as a sore loser. Think of it as a hint, if you will. Mr. Prosecutor! Yes, Agent Lane? Mark my words, I'm not done here and I'll be back. And it's got nothing to do with duty or anything because this has become my personal case. I may have been shot, but I'll show you just how dangerous a wounded man is. I really want be. Francisco to comment on this. His anger appears to have negated the sensation of pain in his injured leg. Dang it. Get someone else besides Lane to just haul her off. He's got an injured leg. Also, she can easily run off if he's got an injured leg. Like, take her with gumshoe? <laughs> I don't know. It's finally over, Kay. I feel like I peered into my her heart a little, you know? And it's so cold and dark and incredibly lonely. But she chose that path. I'm the person who was giving her all these commands. The one who thought my father was a problem to be removed. That person is the real ring leader behind the smuggling ring. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, I have a favor to ask. Can you hold on to these hair sticks for me? They're really pretty, just like the ones they were selling for the Jam and Ninja show. But until this case is over, I don't think I can look at them without being overcome. I understand. I'll take good care of them for you. Hmm? There's a bit of soil stuck on the ends of these sticks. DNA tested. Not DNA tested, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I guess it's that time already, huh? So it's midnight, the dawn of another day. Just hey, Pops! Thanks a bunch! You've really done a lot for everyone all these years. Detective Bad, don't tell me today is the day. Yeah, it is. With this, I can retire in peace. Dang it! It was down to the wire and we almost didn't make it. But we did it. We solved everything. We haven't solved everything? Well, that's just it. We haven't solved everything yet. The ring leader of the smuggling ring you, the Yadagarasu, were chasing after. The legend of that Yadagarasu is now over. Mr. Edgeworth, that bit of logic earlier, it was brilliant. I feel like I can leave it all in your hands. I'm counting on you. Yeah, I thought this guy was gonna be like bad, you know? Yeah. You know? Detective Bad is one of my favorite characters from that come out of this game. Dang. Is it really true, Uncle Bad? Were you also a part of the Yadagarasu? As I said to you earlier, Kay, I'm truly sorry. I wanted nothing but a peaceful life for you. Uncle Bad. Hey, don't take it so seriously! It's all just one big joke, right? Unfortunately, it isn't. Oh, come on, sir! She's just yanking out my chain, isn't she, Mr. Edgeworth? Detective Bad? Wait, no. You are no longer a detective. Mr. Bad, I'd like to ask you about the Yadagarasu. Not you too, Mr. Edgeworth! Mr. Edgeworth, here, I should give you these back. 
give you these back. These are the pages from my KG8 case files. The autographs Actually, are stole from my office. It's all the mug shots of Manny Cochin looking terrifying. Terrible. <laughs> it's me. He looks like a completely different person in that second picture. It's like skinny face, chubby, chubby face. face. <laughs> huh? Wait, what? Mr. Edgeworth, I must apologize for last night. That was him? Your butt? So oh the Autograsu who stole into my room was you, was it? Wait, then that means- WHAT?! T tell me it's not true! Th that's too insane for me to believe, sir! It's true. Even if it's not something you want to hear. The KG-8 incident? It was a very emotionally trying case. Wait, who died in Edgeworth's office? I forgot. Was it just like There's Buddy dude? Faith, the detective, who's a uh, sports basketball boy's <laughs> Right, right, right. <laughs> so, so Bad actually did kill him? No, Bad didn't kill him. Basketball boy killed him, but then there was the second guy who broke into our right, office, right, 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 held right, us right. at gunpoint, shot our coat, and <laughs> stole the files and ran out, and that was Detective Bad. Right, 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 right. Okay. We stood in that courtroom. Faraday is the prosecutor, and I is the lead detective. I'm realizing now in that newspaper that Manny Cochin, from the side, looks like the beast turned into the prince before he got his <laughs> He does! Doesn't he? He does! I will <laughs> never <laughs> apologize! But that doesn't work because he was still the beast. Then. Right. That's that whole movie in a nutshell. Faraday had evidence in his possession. It would prove the defendant guilty. However, because it was stolen, the defendant was found innocent. You was the elder sister of the victim in that case. When the defendant was pronounced not guilty, she let out a great wail. No. That's when we realized that there was a limit to what the law could do. The only way to bring someone like that to justice was to do so outside of the courts. I really like this, because this is actually kind of referencing back to what Gant was saying when he was found guilty. Mm -hmm. Where he's like, Edgy, you despise criminals. Like, you and I, we're the same. Like, one day you'll realize when you, you want to take them on, you'll know what it takes. Yeah. It's really cool. That's what we thought at the time. That's how we <laughs> formed the Yadagarasu. They look like a band. Oh no, it looks like the intro to Birth by Sleep where it's like, which character do you want to play as? Also, this looks like every like cheesy movie poster in the movie theaters where it's yeah. like, this girl loves both of the men, but <laughs> which one will she pick? <laughs> it does! You cannot tell me that it's like Twilight I totally there. get it, yep. <laughs> There's the guy, is he wearing a shirt? On yes, the right, it doesn't yes. look like he is. <laughs> Didn't you wear a shirt like two seconds ago? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we vowed to bring to light any dirty dealings companies had with the ring, including companies that dealt with the Amano group. Mr. Amano's conglomerate. We called ourselves the Yadagarasu and flexed our collective muscle. We exposed all sorts of shady dealings as a warning to the business world as a whole. By doing that, we were able to stop the higher-ups from covering things up. And then, it was finally time. We had finally arrived at the moment when we'd find out the ringleader's true identity. It was then that you literally stabbed us in the heart, and Farday, he died for it. But why? Wasn't she the sister of the victim of the KG-8 incident? After Farday's death, I looked into her past. And that's when I found out that she was a phony. The victim of the KG-8 incident CCU. She never had a sister. I wondered if I was about to say it either is like she never had a sister, or I was I was just wondering if she was the leader of the smuggling ring. Like her CCU? Sister. Oh Yeah. Like what if that and it's like, oh man, I wonder if we'll find out her true identity and like Callisto used like oh, this is my sister, so this is gonna be awkward. Uh let's kill mm -hmm. these guys. What? Then that means that's a good theory, I like that actually. Sheena wasn't the only fake name she used. Callisto Yu was also another pseudonym. From the very beginning, that woman was a spy sent by the smuggling ring. She said it herself. I was destined to betray everyone from the very beginning. Anyway, let's return to the real topic at hand. Mr. Edgeworth, this trump card that we stuck onto this page of the case file. Please use it wisely. Trump card? That photo that we stuck on there, tried peeling it off, 
Behind it, slumbers a piece of evidence. Farda hid away all those years ago. It's the mark of the Autogarasu, but why? This is a directive's card from the big boss. Take a look at the back. This was something Cochin had on him at the time of the KG incident ten years ago. What's it written in? I don't know. That blood is from the victim of the incident, the CCU. But why is the card adorned with the mark of the Yadagarasu? The reason why we called ourselves the Yadagarasu was because of the three-legged raven mark that the smuggling ring's boss used. Apparently orders from the boss would come up on these cards without fail. The person who received the order was supposed to burn it immediately after reading it. And apparently, it burns a bright green flame when it's set ablaze. So you mean, the cards were written in Bobbily's ink? Bro! What if the- oh! What if the- one of the ambassadors is the smuggling ringleader? Ooh. What if- what if Palano is? We haven't seen him in a while. He's it's like- He's, Sco print, it's he's like printing Scooby more Doo. coupons! It's like Scooby-Doo, when you like see that one character at the beginning and then they're like, nah, 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 and they go all away, and then oh. Velma's like, let's see who the real person <laughs> was, and they pull off the mask, and it's like the guy you saw at the beginning of the gas station for two Old seconds. Old man Smivers. <laughs> yeah. No, literally! It'd be like, oh, we saw this guy at the gas station, he like grumbled about having to pay for chips. He's the killer! <laughs> and it's always him! <laughs> <laughs> Probably my fa favorite one of those memes is it's like, uh, we had like a really warm November one year where it's like, November's like, let's see who you really are. It's like, pulls off the mask, it's like, summer or June. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I forgot about that. The fact that the card made Cochin was sent, the, the fact that the card that Cochin was sent made it in Faraday's hand all, at all. It, yeah, it's, it's a weird sentence. It's nothing short of a miracle. We decided that whenever we stole anything, we would send a card along with it to the police. So that's what those white cards are. The great thief that used the mark that only those within the ring would know. It was our message to the ring leader that we were only a few steps behind. Trump card data added. And one more thing, Detective Gumshoe. I'm entrusting this to you. The, oh, I thought it was gonna be the, the lollipop. lollipop. I'm like, um, <laughs> it's an orange. It's an orange Tootsie Pop. Those He's like, the best you've been flavor. sucking it for like 25 years, sir. <laughs> I'm trying to see how many licks it takes to get to the center. <laughs> <laughs> the <Tootsie Pop. laughs> what is this, sir? This is what I was talking about earlier. During the KG8 incident trial, Kafarde had this in his possession. This important, definitive piece of evidence. But I thought it was stolen. How do you have it? person who stole it from us ten years ago was a man by the name of Ernest Amano, and he had it locked and hidden away for all this time. But we forced him to tell us where it was, finally, after the other day's kidnapping case. That's how it's tying together. Because, but of Wait. the year, Ernest Amano, who bought the haunted house, uh -huh. he got arrested at the end of the, ki the, the kidnapping case because he stole, like, tried to destroy yeah. evidence. So they could arrest him and be like, by the way, you're kind of suspected of all the smuggling and stuff. You're going to tell us where the, like, video is. Like, okay, okay, I'll tell you. It's in this safe. <laughs> that makes how... more sense. Videotape data jotted down in the organizer. This video. <laughs> oh, don't come any closer. I'm warning you. This is the same video as the one Mr. Portsman was trying to conceal from me. Yeah, it would seem that even he was caught up in the ring web. Mono was preparing to take on the boss someday, and the video was his insurance. That's where that prosecutor comes in. He was to retrieve the video. On top of that, he was apparently instructed to sneak into your office and steal the trump card. Now, the first case is tied into this. You saw it for yourself, right? The card that told him to preserve the evidence. Then, that card was not the calling card of the Autograsu, but rather a directive's card from the ringleaders to Mr. Portsman. The two pieces together make for a strong weapon for whoever holds them. The evidence Mr. Portsman fought to withhold from me, and the one that you stole from my office last night. Both pieces are illegal, and for me to use either one is, whether you use them or not is up to you. Oh, great. But they will be of help to you when you take on someone who is above the law. Is the boss one of those who cannot be brought to court that Mr. Faraday spoke of? Is this going to be the thing where... They were like, there was a case 
they, they keep mentioning for Edge reports like he used illegal evidence and he's suspected of that. That was the uh, that was the SL9 incident. Was it? Yeah. Because he did use forged evidence, he just didn't forge it. Oh, right. L Lana Sky forged it with Gant's help, and they gave it to him. <laughs> Detective Bad, there is no limit to the law, for it is the people who determine the limits to them. You still insist that even now, you really are something else. I leave the rest in your hands. Now then, Detective Gumshoe, the handcuffs. It's time to lock up. The last remaining member of the Autogarazzi. Pops! Don't ever lose your detective spirit. Uh, Pops! Why is this happening? This isn't justice! I guess he is a bad guy. Like I always told you, do not get emotionally involved. Yeah, that's why I can never do this. Now let's go. Yes, sir! Oh. That's sad. Is this really the end of a legend? Yes, it is. Well, that was a long recording session. <laughs> that was almost, almost two, two hours. hours. That'll be three episodes. So, you were right. She not really was I'm close really to you. Happy but we still that. have a third of the case left. <laughs> Are we going to try and, like, bust them out of jail? So, so, here's what I think. If they ended the case basically right there, if, like, it was like, oh, she not was the head of the smuggling ring or whatever, I think this could have been a pretty decent last case. Maybe change it a little bit to make it more epic. Uh huh. But now, this is the part where it's just like, the case just drags on and Does on. Does it have a good ending? Not, not, not like... Not really. I'll, just I'll be like, honest. This, just like, I've told you this, this is my least favorite last case. Because it's not very epic and it goes on way longer than it needs to. Yeah, if they ended it right there, I think it would have been good. I think, though, the last case always needs to be long and dramatic. And, like... The last know, case of Apollo wasn't that long. Oh, well... It, had it free, was long. It had two investigation periods and three court periods. So it maybe, was uh, long. It had the long investigation period with um, uh, Owen Wilson, and then they had what? <laughs> it was no. Who's the trick. artist guy? Oh, Drew Misham. Oh, oh I Drew Misham. Yeah, <laughs> okay. there, that was him. They had that, and then it was like, style. ooh, the really cool investigation of like the past times, which was awesome. And then it was like, Mason here's system. another court period. Now you gotta prove more things. Fair? Okay, fair. I forgot how long that it was. It was really long. <laughs> this is still not as long as Rise from the Ashes, I don't think, but no, you can Rise see how it's Ashes close was second. So long. Anyhow, that thanks for watching, everyone. Part. Tune in next time. Marty, is your new theory now that Ambassador Polano is. <laughs> could really be good. It's, it's like Star Wars. The Emperor, oh, where it's like, Palpatine, he's such he's a like, great guy. He's such a great guy, he's the Chancellor. I and he's like, power. He's <laughs> it could be like that. Or it could be like the old guy secretly is not like bent over and like Yoda, he can just be like, Pacha, Pacha, Pacha. He, he pulls out like, a sword. <laughs> like Yada Garasu, he's like a secret Santa, a samurai. Secret master. Santa. <laughs> secret Santa master. It couldn't be Master Uwe. <laughs> he's a great guy. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.